Government officials were on hand in Lincoln City Saturday, March 6, to unveil 16 brand new homes earmarked for victims of last year's devastating wildfires. It's such a, a blessing and a wonderful thing to see a community come together to support disaster survivors like this. Uh, it pains me to know that it took a disaster like the fires uh, from Labor Day of last September uh, to make some of these things happen. I think this was a good collaboration between a lot of agencies, including the tribe. It sounds like this is the first time FEMA's uh, been able to put one of these temporary home units on tribal land. So I think with the tribe being involved, you know, they, they draw a lot of tourism here with the casino and with this being so close to the casino and the tribe willing to give up this land for that, I think that really will be helpful. The new emergency housing is available to those affected by the Echo Mountain Complex fire, the blaze that destroyed over 2,500 acres and claimed nearly 300 homes and buildings. This unit has been identified to meet one particular applicant's requirements, and it's been designed to him or her specifically on what their requirements are. Officials praise the Siletz tribe for making room on its property for the emergency housing, which will remain here until at least March of 2022. We go into communities who put out a team that looks at, at a lot of different sites. Um, it, it's not uncommon for us to look at hundreds of sites to find places that are, uh, you know, they don't have erosion problems, they're not in the floodplain, they don't have burn scar problems, or things like that. And are they truly feasible to support a group site um, such as this? And when the word got out, uh, the Sledge tribe let us know that yes, they were they they, they were interested. And so then we, we uh, entered into an agreement to use this site for the period of time that we needed.